Infinite Mini Golf is one of three mini golf related games we're gonna be covering. I know there's a fucking ton of them on Steam, but we already play two. As a community, for Sub Nights, we, we already play two of them pretty regularly. It's Golf It and Golf With Friends, and both of them have their own unique kind of take on the golf, in terms of like how you play golf. One of them is a bit more of a Rocket League type setup where you can have hoops and you can have pucks and all this crazy stuff. Uh, and the other one has a very robust editor, level editor. Uh, and we'll talk about that in future episodes because yes, we're gonna have three any for breakfast dedicated to these three mini golf games. This one, Woovy, uh, Woovy has actually hooked me up with a copy of this because he's like, hey, it was cheap. It was $4.99. It's a third of the price that normally is. And it's only until July 5th. So if you're watching this past July 5th, I'm sorry you waited too long. Uh, and you, maybe you should have, you know, maybe you should have dinged that bell. Then you would have seen this episode sooner, huh? <laughs> so I'm going to talk about the perks of each one individually as we go through. And we'll play a little bit so I can show you guys what, uh, what sets them apart from each other and why one might be better than the other or whatever. Uh, so far, honestly, I'm, the only reason why I'm actually covering this one is actually because it is actually pretty good. I was surprised. I was like, oh God, yeah, another mini golf game. But no, it is pretty freaking good. So, first off, you can see I have this like super cute like little character. <laughs> I was like, I saw this. So let's go, let's go to actually the character creator here. Uh, I saw this character uh, with, uh, let me see, let's go back here. Cause this is the, this is kind of the best part here. Uh, with uh, somebody's hairstyles, I was like, man, I did a girl look just like this in high school. <laughs> so, but there's, there's a, this right here. Here we go. This with this. There you go. That's Janae right there. That's Max. Uh, all right. So anyways, uh, going through here, you have a couple different, a couple different ways you can start off with in terms of like race, right? Ethnicity. You could go uh, with uh, with kind of Asian white. You could go with 100% Asian uh, or you could go with Blasian. Uh, and each one has its own indiv you know, individual hairstyles and everything. You have a currency here. You actually purchase it, but you're, you know, it doesn't cost anything. You just change rates if you wanted to. Uh, and you could go through, do, 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 and you could add glasses if you want. It costs 10 cards. You get cards by playing. Uh, there's a lot of like these actually not just not doesn't just cost cards to play. Uh, it also takes uh, time and progression in order to actually unlock the thing. So, for example, these glasses here are new. I didn't have access to these before. Uh, I could have purchased any one of these in the past if I wanted to, or I could just wait until I get more unlocked. So we got some sunglasses here, right? These were not here at the beginning. Oh, there we go. This is more like a Filipino, actually. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. You could give her crazy. <laughs> actually, uh, KJ Bear. K Bear? K Bear, I think. The uh, cosplayer looks just like this. Uh, let's see. Hairstyles. Got a number of these. Uh, there's also a male version of this, which we're going to click through just a little bit. But I don't want to spend too much time in Character Creator because it's about mini golf, right? It's about mini golf. Um, but yeah, so let's see. Yep, there he is. Good. Yep, yep, yep. Everything costs money, so I'm not going to spend any. Uh, let's see. Actually, it goes randomized. There we go. Randomized. Boop. There we go. There we go. Uh, they all look basically the same. <laughs> they all look the same. Why? Because I don't have anything unlocked. All right, let's go to the dude. This is uh, this is Nathan from Queer Eye, actually. Uh, let's see. And we can also give him different hairstyles styles if we wanted to. Uh, yeah, it's like my hairstyle. Oh, shit. There we go. And I don't have enough uh, actual currency cards to unlock. It's really kind of funny. It's like it's almost as if instead of including some kind of like special uh, cosmetic uh, currency, they're just like. Hey man, fuck, these dudes love cards. They love cards. Just put cards, make a deck. They'll make cards and put them into the game. And they use that as a currency. It's really kind of a strange currency. Where where, where in the world do you use cards uh, as a form of currency? It just feels like, like trading Monopoly deeds or something like that. Uh, you have also different shirts and everything. Some of these, uh, I actually have this exact same shirt. Okay. Um, wow, like even with the stripes and everything, it's a bit, uh, look at that. Damn, oh, I'll purchase that. There we go, purchase. There you go, yes, for five cards, bam, 17, done. Let's see, I'm gonna dress to do like me. Let's see. Well, uh, different shades of the same jeans. Sure, let's leave it there. Uh, shoes. Uh, yeah, there we go. I have some white shoes just like this. I, I can't afford any because I don't have any cards there. Sorry, right, we'll keep going. Belts. Uh, I could buy a belt if I wanted to. If you can't see it. No, no, no. I can't see it on my shirt. Uh, let's see. What is this? I don't even know what this is supposed to be. Is this like a belt of some sort? Some kind of fanny pack? Who knows? Uh, let's see. I could buy uh, some cos cosmetic stuff, regular old cosmetic stuff. I did just unlock this. You could switch to this if you wanted to, but I'm gonna switch to keep with this. Uh, and you also have a number of different colors that you can go through if you want to choose uh, some special color for your putter. 
Uh, and then your ball, of course, you can customize your ball. I got 16. Uh, I need 25 in order to actually customize any of them. I can't really afford anything else, but you can see there's some pretty crazy things that you'll get as you progress. Level 8, so it's unlocked by leveling. Leveling is pretty easy, just basically play. You get credit for doing everything in the game. So, uh, and everything is based off like mini missions, similar to like Hearthstone, for example. You have these daily quests and everything to pop up. You, you complete one. Uh, one or two of them, and another one pops up. Nothing, I've not yet reached a uh, moment where it's like, okay, you've reached the max number of things to unlock for the day. So it doesn't seem like there is any so far. I've been playing for about an hour, which I feel like that'd be enough time in order to actually do that. Now let's go back. Uh, we're going to play, play solo. I actually have a world record in one of the uh, in one of the maps. It's kind of cool. Uh, I don't know if I could actually show you. Isn't this like the home improvement logo? Um... So yeah, we're gonna play. We'll play a couple maps from each uh, uh, each biome, I guess, each each uh, tile set, just so you can see what they look like. Uh, let's see. So these are all player created. They have a tournament. You guys should go play a tournament if you wanted to. But these are all player created. So we're gonna go through here. That's has obviously a pretty robust uh, character or uh, uh, map editor as well. Let's see. All about timing. Pipes. Let's try this one. Pipes. Sure. Uh, oh wow, the camera is super close. Doesn't look like I can actually go back. Let's go right down the middle. Stroke it right in that first one. Follow this thing all the way through. And... There we go. And we'll just aim this. Right clicked to move to aim and then swing. Done. At the end, the guy does a little pose. He's like, oh, yeah. Oh, man. Fist bump. Oh, the dab. Oh, what's going on? Yeah. Thumbs up. Yeah, that's what he does every single time. Basically the same thing. And the uh, female characters actually take selfies. Uh, I think that's all they do, actually. It's like one one guy kind of celebrates to himself. He's like, yeah, it was a... Uh, and the, other, and the uh, females are all like, ah, oh, selfie time. So The dudes don't selfie, though, which is weird. I feel like they should. Here we go. Come on. Boom. Yeah. Uh, good. Get them all, get them all, and right into the hole. Now, what I'm going to do actually now is I'm going to stop because... There's, there's a lot more to show. Wait, wait, hold on a second. It's like the same thing. Like, Ooh, yeah, uh, look at me, I'm pointing, yeah, uh, pointing sky, thumbs up. All right, cool. <laughs> uh, how did I score that? I think I did pretty good. Uh, new best. Oh, so close to world record, see? Claim reward. This is where you go through and it says, oh, claim this, this, yeah, claim, claim. This is the currency. So I got two cards for uh, towards uh, purchasing new balls uh, and I got two cards for purchasing new eyes. There you go. Uh, now let's go ahead and go back. I'm gonna go, yes, go and leave. Don't worry about it. there's no progress to be made when you're playing singles like that. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is this quite the course browser. Uh, there's quick play, tournaments. Let's go to a tournament here and we'll do tournament in Nightmare Mansion because there's actually some interactables there I wanna show you guys. You can see this is actually, I've already gone through some of these. Did it to do. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, and what I wanna show you guys is actually some of the um, power ups and such. This game, uh, this is actually out of the three mini golf games that I'm showing you guys. This is the only one that has like inline power ups, like power ups that are actually uh, occur while you're uh, while you're playing. They're they're actually activatable by you. So here we go. First things first, you can set your ball, which is something that the other two games actually do not allow you to do. Uh, and then you see that little puddle right here. If once I hit that, it's going to trigger this interactable here, which is basically a character, a player character, or uh, an NPC that will do something. I don't know what. Usually they just hit the ball in some certain direction, so we'll see. That should get me there. Boop! Perfect. Oh! Oh no! It didn't have the glitter on it. I needed the one with the glitter. Damn. Alright, well I guess I'll just go ahead and just keep on going like this. Play terribly. The, uh... <laughs> what the hell? Uh, the little thing around the, uh, the, the hole there basically just pulls the ball right in like that. It's on like every other every other map, and I'm not quite sure if it's randomly triggered or if it's part of the map. It's probably part of the map. But these are the players. You know, I, thankfully you don't have to actually watch them play. They just basically throw a score up there to pretend like there's some kind of competition or something. When in reality, it's just you basically playing on your own. All right, let's see. Whoopoo! That. <laughs> How did that happen? What the hell? All right, we'll go this way then. Boop. Yeah, down the stairs. Grab that thing. Uh, I really want to hit one of the. Yeah, that's what I want to hit right there. Boop. Here we go. So yes, every map seems to have its own that. And every single time, once you, whenever you land on the glittery bit in front of the interactable like NPC, um, then uh, 
usually they'll knock it right back right into the hole. Like it's something that they basically program in or that they uh, they set up ahead of time. It's going to hit the ball in this direction and it's going to yield such such result. I'm not going to bother with the uh maybe I can. Just slap a super hard. So here we go. Oh wow, the bike. Huh. That's kind of cool. There are a couple issues with uh, placement of of doodads and such in the game itself. Uh, one thing I noticed is, yay! One thing I noticed uh, is certain uh, cosmetic stuff or certain like things on the field, like let's say for example the sign or something like that or whatever or or the NPCs. Uh, they will they will actually block your view sometimes, making it very difficult to actually aim and do your shot. Your character will will go semi transparent. Will go you know semi opaque. Um, from time to time, so you can take your shot. Uh-oh. And she knocks it right back. Alright, so the thing I said about them knocking the hole 100% of the time? Yeah, not 100% of the time. That was the first time I've ever seen them actually <laughs> throw it back at me. Alright, let's see. Oh, don't go. Yeah, there you go. Go to the left a little bit. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, don't go back in there. Give me a break. Oh, that's good. Can I skirt that sparkle? No! Oh, <laughs> Uh, yep. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and go back. <laughs> I gotta show you guys the other stuff, anyways. Here you go. We'll go to Santa's, Santa's factory here. I haven't done this one all. Yeah, it's creepy looking. What the hell is that? All right, so Santa's factory. Um, the game, the game talks about uh, the biggest selling point of the game is that there's infinite number of holes because there's like a procedurally generated uh, game mode or whatever, um, where it basically just makes shit up. And the nice thing is, actually, regarding not just, like, any kind of procedural generation of maps, but also just, like, the workshop stuff or the downloadable maps uh, and the uh, and even the tournament stuff, is that everything, because all the assets and tiles basically preload, it's super fast to switch between levels. So I'll show you that in a minute. Let me actually go and turn this, get this in here. Get a couple of these. Yeah. Uh, hold on one. I will say that the holes are a lot of times fairly short. Like in in Golf It and Golf With Friends, you have maps that are like crazy long. And so it's almost like a journey to get through them, which could sometimes be annoying. But still, there's a happy medium in there. But for the most part, almost all of my shots have been... What? <laughs> I've never seen this animation. Nice. And it throws right in. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Great! Alright, this guy again. Okay, let's throw him at him, see what happens. He's gonna do the same thing. Same animation. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Can I click the pass? No, you cannot. Poop! Knocks it right. Beautiful! Hey, 25,000 gotta explore. I got some kind of achievements. I'm sorry. Bam! Let's keep going. Yeah, I think, I think we're, at, we're gonna cut out and go to. There's actually two downloadable uh, content packs that are free, by the way. Because I don't know if that's free as part of the sale or what. But if you do end up picking this up, I highly recommend you go ahead and download the free DLC. All right, so that's enough of that. Let's go back. Lose my progress is fine. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, so purchase. You click on purchase here, it pops up with the window, and it'll tell you right now that it is free. You can just download it. So I have not downloaded it yet. Still working through the other content. Let's see. So we're going to go ahead and actually swap this over to the editor. We can take a look at it. I've actually not played this at all, but uh, at least we could get in and see what you're capable of doing in the editor. Here we go. Click on this. Lay a path. Oh, yeah, this is super easy. Already. Already. This is super easy. Let's go boop. And let's see. Oh, cool. We put a ball. We can say the ball goes right there. Uh, there we go. Check that, good. And then we grab another. Let's see. Cancel, actually. Go back out. Let's lay another piece of course. Oh, that swaps that course out. Got it. See? Wow, this is actually super intuitive. Let's see. And we'll attach it to... Oh, wow. We could delete. Oh, man. Oh, that's rough. That is rough. You could really... Look at it. You could... So you have options for each, uh, for each part of each piece of track. That is pretty, uh, pretty great. <laughs> Holy crap. All right, hold on. Let's, uh, let's see. So, now how do I get, yeah, I want to get out of this mode here. Here we go. What's up at the top? 
Let's see. It's a mirror mode. Let's see. Oh, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, oh, <laughs> I guess we're gonna play it. Sure, why not? Okay, and bam, done. Okay, that was a waste of time. It's gonna go back. Let's see, editor, go back to the editor. Great. Okay. So, trying to see how to link a couple together here. So, boom. And then over here, ah, there we go. Just gotta click ahead. We place it and automatically link it, I guess. Yeah, look at that. Uh, it doesn't quite snap. Does it snap if, if I do this? Oh, it does. Look at that. That's what that does. Awesome. Then we move over here. I get it. Yeah, it is super intuitive, super easy. And it locks, it locks itself. Good. I guess I could put a turn or something like that if I wanted to. So yeah, I mean, just just looking at this, you can already see it's pretty. It's a pretty freaking simple overall setup here. Let's see. Put a curve in if I wanted to. I uh, will make a curve like this, sure. And then we can let's see what happens. How does it handle the elevation? I wonder. Bam! Just like that. Easy. Super easy. Okay. Okay. And we get to rotate it like this. Man. So the built-in editor is pretty solid. Um, hold on a second though. No, I don't want I don't want this for testing. I can see that now. Alright, I want to do this and I want to turn these on. And then oh it's red. I guess I can't have those for some reason. <gasps> I wonder why. What is the limitation for that? Like, why is there? Why is that limitation? Interesting. I turn it on, but it turns red. So it does not want me to allow me to uh, to put walls on that that section there. We go back. What if I remove walls from other sections? Boop, boop. Good. Uh, yeah, good. Go back. Yeah, I, I mean, this editor is pretty freaking quick. <laughs> I like to be able to play through it. The last editor I used was the Trials Editor, and it was much more complex than this. Well, obviously, you could do a whole lot more. With a game like this, you don't need the, the complexity. Yeah, it looks like it's just it's just something, just nature of the uh, of, of the placement of this for some reason that you can't necessarily put the uh, put anything on it. But anyways, yeah, so that's the editor. Uh, as you can see, you know, it's pretty it's pretty damn simple to, to operate everything. It's tile based. It's lo it locks it, it locks with each other. And it's also uh, it lends itself to why it's uh, so quick to let me see go back save no don't let us live just go back and see there we go yep uh it also lends itself to like the reason why whenever you go into like a random course right that it just loads so quickly that you could you you could switch between maps and play them right away and that's a big plus for this like loading in other so when you play uh with other games like golf it golf with friends you have to load the entire the entire 18 holes or however many holes it is that's just the way it is right but this one uh, because everything is like sync, you can you can make a course if you wanted to. You could add it to your back nine, right? Uh, but for the most part, oop, there's my rocket. I rocketed right out of the map. Uh, for the most part, it's pretty. Um, oops, I just swung at nothing. Hold on, hold on. Let me get let me get let me get this let me get this. Ooh, that was not what I wanted to do. That. Uh, let's try it again. This time, we'll not use the rocket because clearly that's doing me in. There you go. I, I, I don't know, I, 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 just leave. <laughs> Let's just fucking leave. Uh, actually, yeah, we're, we're gonna leave and go back. No, we're gonna this hole. We're gonna leave and go back and choose another map, and I'll show you guys. Oh, dang it. I'll show you guys how quick, I, I mean, I should pick one that's super easy to make it in, so you can see how quickly it, how quick it is to uh, swap between different maps. Let's see, so all pure big, yep, 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 frosty. Uh, Goldilocks. See, because, I mean, the, the the set is already loaded. It's the the, the scene, right? This uh, this um this uh, pond that's frozen over here. And so here you go, Powerball. I've already done this one, I think. Yes, I have. So we'll do this. Boom. And then we'll go. We'll click that. This is the allow us to steer and control the ball here. And we're gonna turn around. We only have so much momentum though. I mean, if we get this, if we get this. Oh damn. Okay. I was really hoping we get that. Nope. No. No around me get this again good and boom as you combine your powers make us a super big and then stop look at that and then when, well once that one runs out then I'll fall in <laughs> use the big ball power up hey I got another thing yeah oh man flexing on the camera look at it look at me yeah all right and then we get through sending scoreboard data not the world record I was hoping for. And then we go through and choose another one. So it's quick. It's super quick to change between uh, all of the different uh, 
all the different courses if you want to try like just a bazillion courses. It's kind of ridiculous. There you go. Hole in one. Man. Man. Dang. Well, how much did I get? I mean, wait, where's the, what's the top score? Scoreboard data. Ah, oh, too bad there's no way to play the replays of the, uh, of other, uh, players' results here. All right, what did I get? Let's see, claim all, infinite two, okay, claim all, everything, there we go. All right, we go back, and we can click up here, this is your progression here, and it says, look at that, you've leveled up. Um, this is all perfect, actually, for this episode. And then you can go up there and choose what you want to... Uh, or, well, sorry, claim all your prizes. You can see there's a significant number of currency for each each one of these things. Twelve. Typically, we're used to getting two to three or something like that per uh, per match. Oh, man. I guess it's a new emote. Sure, I'll equip that. I didn't know there was emotes like that. Hey. All right. Fortnite. Let's see. <clears throat> Let me go over here. I wonder where they uh, where those emotes are selectable at because I didn't see them in here. Is it in here? Is this it? That'd be kind of weird. Yeah, I don't necessarily see where the where the emotes are. But I did unlock a new ball. Oh, a couple new balls, actually. Ooh, a puzzle ball. That's kind of cool. Yeah, sure, why not? I have nothing better to spend money on. There we go. Oh, there's like a <laughs> some pixel high stuff? Damn. I mean, you can just kind of make out what some of these are by looking at them, I think. <laughs> it's just, hmm. So, I mean, in, in regards to, like, player, customer, uh, player, player customization, uh, this game is, is, there's no, there's no avatars in, uh, in Golf Fit and Golf with Friends. So, if that is something that you like to lean towards, it's like, oh, man, I really like having my own, uh, playable character that I can go through and customize, do all kinds of cool stuff with, then you know what, this game is, this is gonna be the game you wanna go with, right? Um, of, of the set. I'm just gonna see, I'm gonna throw some random stuff on these characters here. Too bad you can't see some of the other hair. I mean, you can see the silhouettes, but... Oh, cowboy hats? Ah, so hats are not separate. Hats are part of the hairstyle. Interesting. Plenty of unlockables as you play. It girl. Uh-huh. No jeggings? Let's see, shoes. Cool. Belts. Let's see. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Cool. Then you can take a close look at the character if you want to. Look at this. Oh man, stylish. What's that? What? Da, 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 da. Oop. There we go. Hey, and that's like actually me. <laughs> Same shirt and everything. Oh man. So that's I mean that's pretty much the gist of uh of infinite mini golf. Uh it is it is the most polished, it is the most polished game uh available. It does in, in terms of like features and also UI, uh avatar customization. Uh, it does play like probably the more polished of the group. Is it the most fun? It's hard to tell. There's so much cool stuff you could do in the others, uh, in the other maps or uh, other games that it's really hard to say that this one is going to be better than those. I will say that it's personally, I still am leaning towards golf it and golf with friends simply because of the, uh, the mechanics and the physics and everything I'm more used to, but the power ups and everything they have in uh, in mini golf, in infinite, infinite mini golf, uh, is actually quite interesting, and it could add some very interesting gameplay uh, while you guys are while you're doing multiplayer. Which, by the way, multiplayer on this thing supports up to eight, uh, which is uh, on par with golf. It I know I think golf it actually is twelve, and golf with friends, oh, golf it is sixteen, golf with friends I, think, I believe is twelve. Uh, so it is the least uh, of the group, but but still with eight with eight people playing, I mean it's it's still not that bad. Um, and there is collision and there's all that stuff if you want to go through and create your own uh create your own let's see go back you go over here you go to uh, online match you go to create private match and then here right here is where you go through and you could change all of this all of your stuff here which is this is about on par with all the other uh all the other golf games that we've played so collision on allow jumping the ball shape random cube cylinder cone egg ridiculous okay seriously just dumb <laughs> Which is good because sometimes you want to do some crazy stuff, right? Uh, classic scoring, time to shot. Yeah, basically all the settings are there. Everything is there uh, for for just if you want to just have fun and just do like silly stuff, you could totally do that if you wanted to. And of course, the maximum you can have is eight. Party only. Join my name. Party only. Random course. Uh, okay, here we go. Actually, go through and choose your own individual courses. Uh, let's see. Does not look like you can. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Hold on. Giant home. Not your mansion. Okay. It looks like, and I'm glad that we did this because you cannot 
do a custom map on a uh, a multiplayer. Co according, I mean, according to this, there is no way to load up a custom map. Let me actually go through and, and load one up here. We'll go party only. Sign up. Sure, we'll go. Uh, we'll just go play. Oh yeah, it's gonna be waiting for a match. Yep. So that's that's actually really unfortunate. That's actually hugely unfortunate. I'm glad that we you know we stumbled across this here. Uh, and if someone wants to correct me, where I'm, uh, correct me if, if I'm wrong here, but uh, I don't see yeah I don't see any way to to go through and add custom custom maps, random course. But that's gonna be random course out of the player out of the set that comes with the, comes with the uh, the game or with the DLC or whatever it is that you have. That's like super super unfortunate on uh, honestly. So that pretty much kills it for me as a multiplayer game because you can't expand beyond this um, unless they add that functionality later on. I should also note though that golf with friends. Uh, has Matt has like eight maps or something, uh, or eight holes, I guess. Uh, right now, eight holes, no, because there's a bunch of holes per. It's eight maps. Let's say eight maps. Uh, a number of maps, and it does have an editor coming. So, in that respect, in the current state, this, in terms of multiplayer, is on par with Golf with Friends. Whereas Golf, it has you have access to just a metric shitload of uh, of workshop. Uh, 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 maps that you can actually play in multiplayer with up to 16 people. So I would definitely say Golf It is probably the best online experience, but in terms of single player experience uh, in playing golf, this is probably the most polished uh, by, by a landslide, actually. So, so that's it. That is uh, the first of three mini golf games we're going to be covering. <laughs> Seems weird we're doing that, but you know what? We play them so much, it makes sense to do so. Uh, this one, Infinite Mini Golf. You could pick up, what is this thing called? World record broken. Oh, someone just broke my thing. Come on. Just reached 10 of the memories. Okay, well, I had a world record. <laughs> actually, I think I have two, actually. So that's fine. I just have one more out there. I'm not going to play. Oh, great. It's going to throw me in there. Anyways, so the game is currently available for $4.99 on Steam. Uh, $15 normally. Uh, even at $15 is still a pretty good price. Oh, yeah, this one. Yeah, what the hell? Someone beat me? Give me a break. I got this. This is, this is easy. This is easy. We're just gonna set this guy up here. And we just pull back right about there. Make the jump. Bam. Just dunk it. That should be the best. They're just, that's it? Wait, what? Just 10,000? Does he got an extra move in there? Because I did get the extra move. Man, he does the same moves. Give me a break. Tennis scoreboard data. That sucks. That's a flat 10,000. Damn, how does this guy get... Hold on. Hold on. No. Let's try it again. Yes. I'm guessing, I'm guessing it has something to do with like how long the ball is in the air or how long the ball is moving or something or how many bounces or something like that. Like everything probably counts. Let's just hit it right about there. That shouldn't go over the mat. Uh, I keep getting holes, holding ones. Man, I'm never gonna beat this guy. I keep getting holding ones. <laughs> All right, whatever. Let's go back. Yeah, I'm gonna save my progress. So yes, infinite mini golf here on any for breakfast. $4.99 until July 5th. After that, it's going to be $14.99 unless it goes on sale again. My name is Mike B. This is Any for Breakfast, Infinite Mini Golf. Thank you very much, Wolfie, for the game. I'll see you guys.